and I'm here with uh, B Hero. It's a startup company producing sensors, new technology bees. And I ask this gentleman here to introduce himself and ask uh, answer the simple question: How your product is going to help the bees? <laughs> that's a that's a great question, actually. <laughs> uh, so my name is Itai. Itai. Uh, I'm originally from Israel. Uh, I've been a, a beekeeper basically my entire life. My dad is the biggest beekeeper in Israel, running about 5,000 colonies. So I got a lot of experience in the commercial beekeeping industry. Um, a few years ago, I was trying to find um, some technology to implement into our uh, operation. I wanted to keep up with, you know, uh, um, progress. And I couldn't really find anything that fits the commercial beekeeper needs. Um, then I teamed up with my two co-founders today um, and we started the company the Be Hero uh, in 2017 uh, with um, with the focus of creating a product designing a product for the commercial beekeeping industry uh, and we created this uh, sensor it's actually a bundle of sensors it measures uh, uh, temperature humidity and sound it sits inside the hive uh, on the top bar of a frame, preferably uh, in the brood area. Um, all the data is being sent automatically to our cloud. You don't have to physically go to your hives or anything like that. Everything goes uh, completely automatically. And then we analyze the data with machine learning algorithms that we've developed over a uh, long period of time. And the algorithm also compares the data that, the data that it gets to um, our database, which is pretty big by now. Um, the information that eventually I can give the beekeeper is real insight. We're trying to not provide just raw data because it's pretty overwhelming and mostly commercial beekeepers that just don't have the capacity to go over many different graphs and try to understand what it means. So we're trying to give them the bottom lines. So for example, if he would have sent one of his employees to open hives and tell him what's the situation. So that's pretty much like that, but I guess more reliable because you know one of the main concerns of commercial beekeepers is that um, sometimes it's hard to get uh, uh, real good information from their employees that are not always as experienced as they are. Uh, so some of the information that I can provide is, for example, if you have a missing queen situation or even just a bad queen in your hive, I can alert you about that. I can tell you how many frames of bees you got in your hive, uh, how many frames of brood. I can tell you um, if you if you got a very high overall level infestation. infestation. Um, I can tell you if the hive is about to swarm a couple days before. Uh, and many other stuff. Basically, even if I can identify the exact problem, I can see that the hive is deteriorating and is having some some sort of uh, a stress, and I can alert you about it. So I, I'll tell you, I don't know why it is, what it is exactly, but you should probably go and check this out, right? Um, this actually helps a lot with not just keeping the hives healthy and, and very strong. Well, it does, but that's not the only thing. It really helps the beekeepers with managing their operational costs, you know? Uh, it takes down a lot a lot of the things that they do today on a daily basis. Um, and it helps this part quite a lot. Uh, the model that we're working in today, we work with commercial beekeepers running uh, pollination contracts. What we do, we actually give this for free to the beekeeper. Um, what we do, we're able to provide some sort of quality assurance to farmers requiring uh, pollination services. I can give them information about the strength of the hives. Of course, I'm not going to give them private information of the beekeeper, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do what a lot of farmers farmers doing today, uh, getting third party inspectors, stuff like that. I can, I, so I give them indications of the, how strong the colonies are and using this the colonies are going to be even stronger. The way we work, we're able to get uh, uh, better pollination contracts since we're able to provide contract. Yeah, okay. since we're able to provide um, uh, a quality assurance so this for is, the farmer. So and then we take our cut from the contract. This is more for beekeepers or for the farmers? 
a little bit of both. This is originally was made for beekeepers, but it allows us to help beekeepers provide better pollination services to farmers. And then they can use it year round, not just for the pollination part of it, okay? They can use it every day, all year. Even uh, if they don't send bees, you no, know, so we work with beekeepers that are sending bees, bees that's to, poll to pollinate. That's important to mention, right? Yes, because yes, yes. Because if you're yes. going to provide something for Definitely. free. Okay. Definitely. This is our concept right now. Uh, we are exploring other uh, uh, landscapes of beekeeping, but currently this is our focus, working with commercial beekeepers running co pollination contracts. Very interesting. Um, yeah, so we're able to get higher fees for the pollination contract since we're providing quality assurance of some sort. Yeah. And then we take our cut from that. So if the beekeeper is happy, we're happy. Some of the, uh, 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 this is part of our approach, right? If beekeepers are not happy with a product, obviously they're gonna tell their friends, listen, this is no good. And then I lost everything. I wanna keep my customers happy. Yeah, <laughs> really correct. So it, I want to keep my my customers. I want to keep. I, we look at the beekeepers as uh, uh, more like uh, our partners in a way. Okay? okay. If they're not happy with the business partnership, it's not going to continue on, right? So yeah, you you depend on the perfect relationship. One hundred percent. Yes. One hundred percent. If they're not if happy, I understand the business yeah. model here. Yeah. yeah. If they're not happy, I have no no justify uh, there's no justification for me to exist okay. right so this is where we're coming from right where people can find more information about it. first of all on our website uh, behero.io io yes the dot com was already taken unfortunately okay uh, so behero.io and then they can send me an email personally okay. uh, I can get them more information if they need and uh, we're always happy to meet we're traveling quite a lot in the U.S. We're located in, in the Bay Area in California. Okay. Uh, and we also have uh, um, an office in Tel Aviv in Israel, where we're from. And we're happy to meet everyone, explain uh, what we do, let people get a feel of it, you know? And um, yeah. Okay. I think it's an interesting business model. Thank you. And success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a Let pleasure. Let me know if I can help with anything. Yes. Good. I I'll be happy to keep in touch. All right. And what you guys are doing to help the bees? Think about it. He's doing a lot. <laughs> Try. Yeah. <laughs>